reaches its epic conclusion. The Pinnacle, atop this stage, with the attention of millions far and wide, two teams hardened by the fire of competition find themselves within arm's reach of destiny, within grasp their place amongst the immortal legends of the game. Welcome to the NBA Finals. What's going on everyone? Tiger here. I have episode 18 of my Los Angeles Clippers Association coming at you guys here on NBA 2K13. And let me give you guys a little bad track because we are in the NBA Finals right now, and you see we're down three games to two against the Chicago Bulls. And then I decide to sim the um, games to an elimination game. I played the first game, and I actually won the first game against the Chicago Bulls. But when I went to go edit the video down, it just corrupted. So after I played the first game, I simmed up to an elimination game, and here we are down three games to two so this is a critical game we're at home right now we have to stop them because if they win this game then they win the nba championship and it, yeah that's basically the backstory behind this so if you guys been wondering like why or why i'm not showing you the rest of the game it's because i simmed it and only played like one actual game but here we are the chicago bulls they were i believe the number two seed in the east and they ended up beating the um, Miami Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. We ended up beating the Los Angeles Lakers in the Eastern Conference Finals in the full sweep. So, these are two tough teams right here. And I knew the Bulls were going to be a tough team just because of Derrick Rose. They have Derrick Rose leading their way. And he's probably one of the best point guards in the NBA. Not even one of the best. He's top three, in my opinion, when he is healthy. And in this game, he is healthy. So, he's leading... The Chicago Bulls in this game, and I knew it was going to be tough going up against them because they just have matchup problems. Jokey Noah is a beast, too. He's so underrated. I, I think people really don't give him enough um, uh, credit for what he does, but he is one of the better power forwards in the NBA. And, of course, Derrick Rose, um, who uh, slew all day, another um, all, um, all-star NBA player on the, the Chicago Bulls. So they're filled with... All these nice players that are coming off the bench to Nate Robinson, backup point guard, is also a good player. But we also have a, a good players on our team, too. This is going to be critical game right here because this might be the last game you see Shane Batty, like, as a starter. And if you've been a long-time follower of this series, you know I acquired Shane Batty earlier in the season with a trade with the Miami Heat. And I was attending to use him as, like, a J.R. Smith Mono Ginobili, six-man role like that. After his first game, he dropped like 50-something points coming off the bench, something like that, some crazy number like that. And I just had to insert him some way into the starting lineup. And he's our starting stream guard, and he's just been playing magnificent, playing uh, just shooting, uh, shooting them three ball. And But he is getting a bit older, and you never know. Maybe he might not be on the team next season. So, yeah, in this game, you see we're down early to the Chicago Bulls. Um, this is something I'm not used to pretty much. Oh, and I did have difficulty when I did play this. I'm going to be a final. I believe I'm playing not Hall of Fame, but the thing below Hall of Fame. I'm not sure what that's called. Sorry. Sorry about that. But, yeah, yeah I did bump it up to that in this game. So, it is. it was a bit tougher for me, but... I didn't think I'd be getting beat this bad, 61 to 46 currently in the second quarter, and it's all because of Derrick Rose and the Bulls starting lineup. They just keep coming after it, getting those second chance points when they can, and our key players are not hitting the key shots. But Blake Griffin is having a good game too. He's scoring a lot of points on these fast break dunks, which I like to see. His vertical leap pretty nice. So, yeah, 71 to 58 right now. So, not a good score, but we we will end up, like, trying to come back, of course. Because our bench our bench rolls, our bench guys, basically, have, are one of the best benches in the NBA. With Steph Curry coming off the bench, that's another trade I made. Guys like Mike Miller, which I also got from the Heat. Guys like that, Steph Curry, Mike Miller. Uh, no, um, Lamar Odom, just coming off the bench, we do have one of the better benches in the NBA in this association. 
But, yeah, like I said, Derrick Rose, this beast in it up, can't do much with Derrick Rose, but Shane Batty trying to lead us back. We're only down 95 to 82, which is that bad, which isn't that bad because there was a point in this game where we were down um, by almost 20 points, so that's honestly not that bad in my opinion. But you see Steph Curry trying to lead us back right now, just with his three ball. Steph Curry is a beast, and even though his morale or whatever, he's really mad that he's coming off the bench, and some of his stats is taking a hit. He's still playing at an elite level, and I love him as a backup role. A lot of you guys don't like that, and I really can't wait to show you guys the offseason, all the moves that I make in the offseason. Chris Paul is a unrestricted free agent, so yeah, that's going to be interesting to see if he, he hasn't resigned resigned with us so we have to go and try to win him in the free agency so if he doesn't return to the clippers then steph curry he might be our point guard of the future that's why we acquired we made this trade just in case chris paul decides to take his talents elsewhere we needed to make uh, make a trade and steph curry's basically like an insurance we might ship him off if we end up keeping chris paul just because Steph Curry decides to, needs to be a starter somewhere. He has the skills to be a starter somewhere. But yeah, this game is quickly coming down to an end. You see Karan Butler with 20 plus points. Blake Griffin at 20 plus points. Chris Paul almost had like 20 plus points. But the Chicago Bulls ended up coming out of here with a victory 4-2 in this NBA final series. This video was kind of on the short side. Of, I apologize for that. I've I, I've been having a lot of like editing problems when I came to editing down this final series. So, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys Season 2. A lot of great stuff. I'm excited to show you guys the NBA agency, all that fun stuff, who I take in the draft, and uh, what's going to happen in Season 2. I'm already, like, in, with me actually playing, I'm already in All-Star break of Season 2. So, I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. There's going to be a lot of trades, and this Clippers team is going to be shaken up in Season 2. So, I'm excited to see what you guys feel about all that stuff. But, yeah, after... Coming into this game, sweeping every single one of our opponents, we actually lose in the NBA Finals. Derrick Rose ends up winning the MVP. He dropped, like I believe, like 40-something points, unless just some crazy number like that. He he was um, beasting it. Luol Dang beasting it. Um, Noah was beasting it. Just this whole Bulls team from top to bottom was just coming out to play, and it really showed in the stat sheet. So... Yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about this series. The last video, I was thinking about canceling this series, and I put up a video basically asking for you guys if you wanted to see this series continue, you needed to let me know by liking the video and leaving comments, and I wasn't really expecting that video to get a lot of likes or comments. I thought was, this series was going to end up being canceled, but currently at that video sitting at about like 30 likes I believe and that's just crazy because I didn't know that many people 30 people liked it a bunch of people commented on it and, and I got like over 250 something views I believe something like that not really sure about the stats but uh, yeah something like that and I really wasn't expecting that so I can obviously tell that you guys enjoy this series and then enjoy and I enjoy playing this series so I'm gonna continue to show you guys this series hopefully you guys continue supporting it as with my own Madden 13 um series and my NCAA 13 Road to Glory series all that stuff hopefully you guys continue to support that so yeah I'm just rambling on right now sorry for the delaying videos of course this week I did go through some final uh, some not final exams some um state uh, um exams that if I don't pass I will not graduate high school that's kind of interesting so I really need to focus on that. That's why I couldn't really put up videos this past week. So, yeah, guys, this is Tiger here. Hopefully you guys enjoy your Friday evening.